Okay. So we are back over here again. We're going to we're going to be done with plugins for now. Users is pretty basic. You can add user. This is your profile. There's not much to edit on it. You don't get a very customizable profile. Not when you're the admin anyways. Um available tools you can import and export your probably your database. I've not really used this too much. I have one uh I actually have something installed on mine that automatically will send backups to my email every day. Now this right here though, this is to import your site from another, from Blogger, Blog Roll, Live Journal, RSS, Movable Type, and TypePad, Tumblr, and WordPress. But this is, WordPress would be if you have another WordPress site and you want to transfer your files here. Export you can uh, export to a download file all of your posts pages everything I'm not going to do any of that because I I just don't need to and settings now we're going to go to general WordPress tutor just another WordPress site we're going to change that to WordPress tutorial whoops WordPress video tutorials And we're going to leave this because this is the link. Now, when you buy your own .com, like I own webdesignjunkie.com, that's my domain, this is a subdomain off of it. Most domains don't have this right here. It'll be www. So just don't be alarmed by that or pay any mind to it. Um, My contact email. I don't let anyone can register. If you do that, you're going to have a, a ton of people registering. And I'm not sure what their purpose of registering is because they can't really do anything except post comments. And if it's spam, they can't do that anyway. So we're going to save our changes because I'm just leaving this as it is. Once the page turns, I'm going to go to writing under settings. writing this um, convert emoticons into graphics WordPress should correct invalid nested XHTML automatically I don't know exactly what that is so I don't bother it um, that's your default category which I think I'm gonna make a tutorial since that's what these are I never install this or set this up I don't use it uh, email here I guess uh, save changes okay we're gonna go to reading okay this is where you can have a choice of letting your latest posts show on this front page here or you can change it to a static page like the home button like if you every time you hit the WordPress at the top, lo the logo, it'll take you to this page right here. See, my internet is so crappy. And either way, I usually just leave it to my um my latest posts, and I set one post as a sticky. Um, I usually do a summary because I don't want it to do the full text in the feed. And we don't want to discourage search engines from indexing this site because we want the search engines to have every single page of our website in their search engine because that puts you in their engines. And it's important so you can be found. I'm not a professional at that part yet. I'm still learning, but I know how to use WordPress. And discussion, which will be who can post on your site. Alright, allow people to post new articles. You can do that. Allow link notification from other blogs. That I keep on mine because what it does is if someone copies your post and they paste it on theirs and don't realize that the link is listed in there, then it will automatically ping you and you'll know that this website just copied your stuff. Attempt to notify blogs. This is like the same thing. I think they work together, but I'm not for sure. Users must be registered and logged in to comment. 
you don't got to select that. Automatically close comments. I don't select that. Um, I've never fooled with that either. I just leave it like it is. And I always select an administrator must always approve the comment. Anyone posts a comment, a comment is held for moderation. Again, I, you must approve your comment. But, you know, the WordPress admin must approve it. And comment author, I'm going to change that. Okay, and I don't type nothing in here. You do have some avatar choices. And it's up to you what you choose. It, it depends on your website, what the, you know, your graphic maximum rating or whatever should be, if it's explicit or not. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to save the changes. Media. Oh, this is like a standard size for what you upload for it to automatically post. Permalinks. See, this is where you can change the the name of your. You see right here. As you change it, it was. I'm just. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave it as it is. It won't change it. Okay, um, now if you don't want to look at this menu here, you can click collapse and you can still get to everything. All right, so for this moment, I think that is it for.